a big chill. It's ready to roll through Texas and this noon. There are some concerns. Can our power grid handle this? Some local leaders already stepping in to ensure everyone within their districts are well informed and most importantly, well prepared to meet the freeze. Jonathan Cotto has more on that story. Today, people are gearing up for the upcoming freezing temperatures, and with that comes concerns about power outages, ruptured pipes, and, well, just about everything that went wrong during last year's winter storm. So last year, my district was greatly impacted, and it was a lot of the after, uh, and so the after effects. In District 4, a digital divide. Councilwoman Rocha Garcia says lots of her constituents don't have access to the Internet or other technologies. We know that a lot of them don't have access to um, the Internet and connection and and so we know that the digital divide is alive and well, unfortunately, in this area of town. So the best thing that we can do is literally come out today before anything hits and give them the information that they need to be prepared. This is the winter weather preparedness guide folks here in District 4 will be getting at their doors today. Not only tells them how to prepare for winter storm, but it lets them know what to do and who to call if their home is damaged after a winter storm. Though the cold snap is not forecasted to be as severe as last year, Rocha Garcia ensuring everyone is well informed and well prepared. She says she is confident in CPS Energy's abilities to quickly respond to any power outages. I am going to see this as a test for CPS Energy. That's the way that I see it. And so this is the first major test and uh, I'm hoping that they'll pass it. CPS Energy says all power plants will be up and running. And they've already taken precautions to keep their plants weatherized. SAW says it's taken measures to protect pipes and keep water service functional. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.